Good morning, Falcons. It is Wednesday, May the 20th, and it's a white day here at Summit. And this is the last day of instruction for students this school year. And it's also the final episode, number 18 of the Summit Show. Students, as you know, beginning tomorrow, Thursday, May the 21st, and continuing through Thursday, uh, May the 28th, next week, you and your family will need to plan to make time to visit Summit to turn in your laptop, charger, and other school-issued items in your possession. And Summit staff will turn over to you any of your personal items that are still left inside the building. This will all be accomplished in a drive-through line on the south side of the building. Summit's detailed plan was sent via mass email to all parents and guardians and via Canvas message to students here in the last couple of weeks. Make sure that you review it with your parent guardian and make plans accordingly. If you haven't already, please be sure to check your Canvas messages for, for a note from Mr. Persley. All students are required to complete a laptop check Google form prior to returning your laptop to school. The form asks a series of questions that require you to examine your laptop and note any damage or issues. Again, all students are required to complete the form. Please see the Canvas message from Mr. Persley and use the embedded link to complete the form. We thank you in advance for your help. In today's episode of the Summit Show, we will recognize and celebrate Summit's 2019-2020 Soaring Falcon Award winners from all grade levels, as well as Summit's 2019-2020 Carolyn Stefanik Award winners from the eighth grade. Finally, we hope you enjoy an end of the year slideshow which highlights student life throughout the 2019-2020 school year. Greetings Falcons. I hope this video finds you well and also finds you encouraged and feeling successful about all of your hard work and accomplishments this school year. While the 2019-2020 school year has finished in ways no one could imagine, there is no doubt each of you has grown academically, emotionally, and socially in many, many ways. Please remember that growing, that is learning, is a combination of reflecting upon both experiences of triumph, the wins, and experiences of defeat, the losses. Through the triumphs, you have learned to form good habits. You have learned what it takes to meet your goals and realize that through the defeats, you have learned what not to do and what you must do differently next time. In both cases, you have learned. If you think about what happens to you in school, and in life in this way, then you are on the right path for positive growth. And you can rest assured that you will not only be a little bit better, but probably a lot better in whatever it is you decide to do in the years to come. As I stand here in the hallway near the office in front of the perpetual plaques which recognize and celebrate outstanding achievement from both students and staff, I am excited to share with you both 2019-2020's Soaring Falcon winners from all grade levels, as well as 2019-2020's Carolyn Stefanik Award winners from the eighth grade. And now let's hear from Summit's guidance counselors, Ms. Miller and Mr. Faber, for background information on the Soaring Falcon Award. Since Summit Middle School opened in the 1993-1994 school year, there has been a special award presented to four students from each grade level. This award, the Soaring Falcon, is given to one boy and one girl from each grade level team who exemplifies a model student and young person at Summit. Relevant characteristics include academic effort, leadership, helpfulness, citizenship, service to others, trustworthiness and involvement in school activities. 
In addition to the individual plaque each soaring falcon will receive, today's winners will have their names engraved onto the larger plaque displayed near Summit's main office. Hello Summit, I hope everyone is doing well. Teachers annually review the merits of the students with whom they have worked with throughout the school year and choose those who are truly outstanding. There are so many deserving candidates that only new students, that is students who haven't been honored as Soaring Falcons previously, are selected each year. That being said, we want to take a moment to recognize past Soaring Falcon winners from our current 7th and 8th grade classes. So previous Soaring Falcon winners from the class of 2025, our current 7th grade class, include Keegan McClure, Luke Nicewanger, Leah Stoip, and Syra Vollmer. Previous Soaring Falcons from the class of 2024, our current 8th grade class, include the following. Sam Berkey, Mallory Bobilia, Jacob Cohen, Anna Heck, Claire Landrigan, Elena Mattis, Ben Morton, and Rowan Walsh. And now it's my privilege to introduce our current grade level teams, and they will announce this year's Soaring Falcon winners. This year's Dragon Soaring Falcon is kind to everyone, whether it be students or adults. She is a wonderful, selfless person who always thinks of others. For example, she has been known to stay after class and clean up clutter and pencils left behind to help out her teachers. Our Soaring Falcon student cares about her friends and other students at Summit. If you needed a smile to brighten your day, you could count on her. She's also a great listener. These traits made her a valuable participant in the Sources of Strength program this she year. She's an ideal student who always comes to class prepared, is on task, completes work on time, and always does her personal best. She's always polite, from a friendly hello when passing by in the hallway, to a sincere thank you to her teachers at the end of each class. We've enjoyed watching her grow this year as a student. She understands that if something is challenging for her in our classrooms, She's learning the valuable skill of perseverance, and she embraces the fact that she's expanding her mind and her knowledge base. It's been a pleasure working with her this year. Outside of school, our Soaring Falcon enjoys going to Michigan with her family and staying in their RV. She loves to play outside with her sister and ride their four-wheeler. She also likes to get involved in many church activities. For all these reasons and more, the Dragon Teachers are proud to announce that our female Soaring Falcon for the 2019-2020 school year is Hannah Ricard. Congratulations, Hannah. We are all very proud of you. The Dragon teachers have selected our male student for Soaring Falcon who is kind and hardworking. He always does his personal best and rises to the challenge no matter what the task. He is a true leader who is always polite and respectful to both his peers and his teachers. He works well with any student he's partnered with and he never complains. He always volunteers in class and adds meaningful contributions to class discussions. This person is a pleasure to have in class and he's always up for a challenge. He's very detail-oriented and always goes above and beyond on his assignments. The Dragon teachers have really enjoyed working with him this year and finding new ways to challenge him. Outside of school, he enjoys soccer and spending time with his family. He also has a bearded dragon lizard who has been known to make appearances in Zoom sessions with him. Because of all these positive qualities and many others that he possesses, the Dragon teachers are proud to announce that our male Soaring Falcon for the 2019-2020 school year is Andrew McGillivray. Congratulations, Andrew. This award is well-deserved. The young lady 
receiving this Soaring Falcon Award, works hard in all of her classes, is a committed participant in many extracurricular activities, and always has time for a hello or nice word to her teachers and classmates. She earns straight A's all year, and her work ethic isn't limited to her schoolwork. She stands out in extracurricular activities for the time she invests, her persistent efforts to learn, and her dedication to the group's success. This is especially evident in her participation in show choir, but has also been seen in Future City Club, Yearbook, and the fact that she submitted to Summit's online talent show this year. She is also constantly looking to get better at what she enjoys, whether it be in classes or an art club and chess club. This desire for success has not interfered with her ability to connect with others. In fact, she goes out of her way to be thoughtful and takes initiative to help others, whether it be in the classroom or the food bank. Her effervescence and genuine smile serve as an encouragement to everyone around her. For these reasons, the Tigers are proud to announce that Hattie Stiltner is our 2019-2020 Female Soaring Falcon. Congratulations, Hattie. The young man receiving the Soaring Falcon Award is a very conscientious worker, a dedicated athlete, and a leader amongst his peers. He earns straight A's all year because of his commitment not only to his grades, but also to the processes of learning and understanding. He went out of his way to create the best possible learning environment for himself and his classmates, balancing humor with hard work. When a leader is needed, he steps up. Whether the situation demands that he leads by example or that he take initiative in guiding his peers. These attitudes serve him outside the classroom as well, where he volunteers with his family and is a dedicated athlete who plays football, basketball, and lacrosse. His genuine desire to excel and help others around him demonstrates noteworthy maturity and makes him a pleasure to have in class. For all of these reasons, the Tigers are thrilled to announce that Eli McCracken is our 2019-2020 male Soaring Falcon. Congratulations, Eli. This year's Soaring Falcon is a strong student who takes ownership of her own learning. She pushes herself to do her best and is willing to face any challenge in the classroom, but is not afraid to ask for help if she needs it. She is willing to work with any and all other students, stepping up to take the lead when necessary and doing it with a positive attitude. She is kind, helpful, polite, and respectful. She is one of the first people to offer help when she notices someone needs it. And she's quick to thank others for their help as well. She has talents outside the classroom too, as she's involved in the summit musicals, the swim team, and the select choir. She participates in civic and youth theater musicals downtown, and she takes part in drama classes. She has been a joy to have in class this year, and the beer team is proud to name Ada Wolf this year's Soaring Falcon. This year's Soaring Falcon is a hardworking student who has a natural curiosity and wonder at learning new things. In addition to his love of learning, he is also a dedicated student and a hard worker in and out of the classroom. This dedication helped him be successful while also being involved in extracurriculars like football, student council, and volunteering. He puts forth his best effort at all times, and he is not afraid of failing because he knows he can pull himself back up and try again. He works well with others and is willing to be a leader to help those in need. He's funny, friendly, and kind. That kindness shines through in the way that he always treats others, teachers and students alike, with respect. We are all lucky to know him, and the Bear Team is proud to name Aiden Ariel this year's Soaring Falcon. This year's Frog's Female Falcon has always appeared wise beyond her years and set the bar academically for how work should look. She is honest, 
loyal, hardworking, kind, helpful, and driven, yet always ready to lend a hand to help another student. When she sets her mind to it, the student doesn't let anything get in the way of her goals, whether in academics or in the pool. She holds high standards for herself and works hard to achieve those standards. You can often catch her helping other students with questions they may be too afraid to ask aloud. This alone is testament to how much respect she has among her peers. Even when having to miss two weeks of school, she stayed on top of everything. She took initiative, checked in with her teachers, and made sure everything was caught up and completed to her standards. This year's Lady Soaring Falcon for the Frogs team is Madison Weisel. Looking back over the year, there wasn't a day where we didn't see a smile on this young man's face. He always had a positive attitude. This young man is very friendly, outgoing, kind, helpful, and funny, and are some of the things that other students have used to describe him. He is always brightening people's day, kind of like a rocket. A conscientious worker, he also put forth his best effort academically and was involved with many extracurricular activities where he not only worked to do his best, but also took the time to lead and help others. His desire to succeed is evident, yet he consistently puts others before himself, whether it is in his advisory class or on the basketball court or in FCA. This year's men's soaring falcon for the Frogs team is Jesse Biedenbach. This year's female Soaring Falcon stands out among her peers because of her academic excellence, her school involvement, and her friendly and inclusive nature toward her peers. She's conscientious in her studies. Some of her teachers describe her as one who goes above and beyond and always with a smile. She is a joy to have in class. She participates in discussions and aces nearly everything she tries. She is friendly. She often finds teachers in the hallway to greet, even when it's a bit out of her way. She is an athlete participating in both basketball and soccer, but she is equally as gifted in art. Our Falcon works well with others and is respected for her mature thoughtfulness. She is open to friendship with everyone and is authentic in her helpfulness and her kindness towards others. It's with much pride and great joy that we name Austin Davis as the Gators Female Soaring Falcon for 2019-2020. Through his quiet strength by example, his admirable work ethic, and his involvement in school activities, this young man exemplifies the qualities of a soaring falcon. An extremely hard worker, his teachers describe him as self-motivated and mature, striving to make the most of his academic opportunities. Always a willing participant, he is creative and a strong problem solver. Our Falcon has a personal disposition and a quiet sense of humor. He is helpful to his peers and always looks out for both friends and strangers. Our Falcon is a friendly young man with a ready smile, respected by both his peers and his teachers. He's involved in band, wrestling, and if Summit had a hockey team, he would be a star player. He exudes self-confidence, whether it's singing a solo on the Summit show or sporting festive holiday attire. We are so proud to announce Henry Loxton as the Boys Gator Soaring Falcon for 2019-2020. The Soaring Falcon Award is an honor that is not taken lightly by the Shark Team. We began nominating students as early as the second quarter, and this year was not unlike others in that we had many students who excelled in the classroom, had commendable work ethic, and were very kind. It is always hard to choose just one boy and one girl to represent the Shark team, but this year's Soaring Falcons stood out among their peers and continued to impress us throughout the year. 
Obviously, this year is not ending the way we had expected, but we are excited to recognize these two exceptional students. This young man and young woman excel in areas both in and out of school. Whether they were in the classroom, in the hallways, around school, or even in the community, they'd continue to soar. Even during this distance learning time, during our Zoom calls and their lessons, they continued to impress. While we are so sad that we cannot congratulate them in person with a handshake, we are very thankful that we can honor them virtually during this program. This year, our female Soaring Falcon stood out among her peers as safe, organized, accountable, and responsible in many ways. She showed responsibility by not only getting her work done, but by being a student we could count on. She was a joy to have in class. She was a good listener, kind to others, and always gave her best effort. She's the type of student that would willingly help a substitute teacher, sit by a peer who was having a bad day, or even help her teachers make sure their Canvas links were working. This student also leads by example without reservation. She is naturally kind and considerate. She is friendly and warm. These traits make other students around here feel good. She has an infectious smile and is genuinely happy. She is considerate of others and makes those around her, including her teacher, smile too. She is confident in an unassuming way and those around her know that she will make good choices and follow through with her commitments. She is also very involved with Summit Athletics. She ran cross country, was a member of the two-time conference champion basketball team, and was also on the basketball team. Coach McKinley says that this student's athletic career here at Summit can be boiled down to a simple but telling statement, this is why I coach. She is not only coachable and a great team player, but also committed to working hard to get better. She was even practicing shot put on her own time during quarantine. Not a school day went by that we teachers were not greeted by this student with a big smile. She would come down the hall wearing Summit Spirit Wear while she chatted with her friends. She was on time, prepared, and ready each day. Her positive presence made up for her soft-spoken voice, but she is definitely someone that those around her would listen to. And for these reasons, we are excited to announce that this year's Sharks Team Soaring Falcon is Morgan Wagner. This year's male Soaring Falcon has the four qualities we hear about each day on the morning announcement. He is safe, organized, accountable, and responsible. The first thing you'll notice about this student is he is friendly and approachable. He is kind to others and the type of student that others seek out to collaborate with. As a group member, he has the perfect combination of sharing ideas and listening to others. He will do his part, but is also excited when others want to participate. He likes to have fun, but also knows when it's time to get to work. This student is also extremely helpful. In many cases, he is willing to assist other students and even his teachers, especially with technology issues. He has a confidence about him that is not arrogant, but comes from a hard work ethic. He is willing to put in the time necessary to do and complete excellent work. This work ethic, along with responsibility and creativity, are a great combination that allow him to juggle his many extracurricular activities while maintaining good grades. This student is very active in extracurricular activities at Summit Middle School. He has been a member of Math Count all three years, and he was especially good at making new members feel comfortable and coaching others through tough problems. He played an integral part in getting a sponsor for Future City and spends a good deal of time outside of school researching and planning for this competition. He is involved in band, jazz, choir, and the annual school musical. Mrs. Yale says that the characteristics of hard work and dedication that make the student a successful musician will take him far in life and his great sense of humor will guarantee that he will enjoy his journey. This year, he missed out on a lot of lasts, including the spring musical. 
but his past performances were unforgettable. We know this young man, our 2020 Soaring Falcon, Tim Rowan, will continue to go on and do great things as a student, classmate, and a friend. When Summit Middle School opened, Carolyn Stefanik was a seventh grade language arts teacher. I was fortunate to have Carolyn as my mentor through my first year of teaching. Carolyn was a gifted teacher, but most importantly, a lifelong learner. Throughout her career, she successfully imparted this passion for learning to her students. Tragically, in 2001, Carolyn lost her battle with cancer. However, she left an indelible mark on the lives of all who knew her. In order to honor her life and legacy, the Excellence in Education Award was established. This honor is awarded to students who, like Carolyn, have made learning a priority in their lives. Eligibility for the award includes attending Summit for three years while maintaining a grade point average of 11.0 or higher each year. These recipients have clearly demonstrated this true passion for learning, and I am honored on behalf of my mentor, Carolyn Stefanik, to award the following students. Isabella Ambrose, Ava Kramer, Vivian Flappen, Mallory Bobilia, Ripley Merritt, Elizabeth Murotani, Elizabeth Twenge, and Claire Landrigan. On behalf of all Summit faculty and staff, I congratulate all of the 2019-2020 Soaring Falcon winners from all grade levels, as well as the 2019-2020 Carolyn Stefanik Award winners from the eighth grade. The Summit staff is privileged to partner with all Summit families in promoting academic, social, and emotional growth while preparing today's learners for tomorrow's opportunities. Let's make it a great summer break.
Well, Falcons, the 2019-2020 school year is nearly in the history books. Please plan with your parent to visit the drive through line prior to May 29th. On behalf of all of the faculty and staff at Summit Middle School, we wish our 8th graders all the best as they travel on to high school. And we look forward to continued partnership with families of incoming 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students in the school year 2020-2021.